Hello and welcome all. Today we will be discussing hyponatremia, current treatment standards, based on the 2024 nephrology and dialysis guidelines. Hyponatremia is the most common electrolyte disorder in hospitalized patients. It is associated with increased morbidity, mortality, and hospital length of stay. Hyponatremia can be classified by duration, acute, less than 48 hours, chronic, greater than 48 hours. Classification of hyponatremia, severity, mild, serum sodium 130 to 134 millimol, liter, moderate, serum sodium 120 to 129 millimol, liter, severe, serum sodium less than 120 millimol, liter, volume status, hypovolemic, fluid loss, like, vomiting, diarrhea, euvolemic, SIADH, hypothyroidism, glucocorticoid deficiency, hypervolemic, CHF, liver cirrhosis, nephrotic syndrome. For severe hyponatremia, initial management, administer 3% NS, that is hypertonic saline, either as, boluses of 100 to 150 milliliters over 20 to 40 minutes or Continuous infusion of 0.5 to 1 milliliter per kilogram per hour. 2. Outcome based on sodium increase. If sodium increases by less than 4 millimol, liter, repeat 3% NS boluses over 20 to 40 minutes. If sodium increases by 4 to 6 millimol, liter, stop 3% NS treatment. If sodium increases by greater than 6 millimol, liter, stop 3% NS treatment. Consider desmopressin 1 mcg subcutaneously or IV every 8 hours, or glucose solution, 4 ml per kilogram, to decrease sodium by 1 millimol liter. The treatment approach for mild to moderate hyponatremia, hypovolemia, urine sodium greater than 30 mmol, L, renal cause, discontinue diuretics. If urinary potassium is low, consider fludrocortisone 0.05 to 0.2 microgram per day. Urine sodium less than 30 millimol, liter, non-renal cause, discontinue diuretics. Use antiemetics if needed. Provide causative treatment if possible. Treatment, volume supplementation with physiological saline 0.9%, up to 30 milliliters per kilogram per day. Oral salt intake with meals. 9 grams per day. Euvolemia, SIADH. Consider potential causes. Exclude thyroid and adrenal disease, drugs, infections, and tumors. Measure plasma and urine osmolality. Ensure the patient is not malnourished. Fluid restriction. If diuresis is less than 500 milliliters or serum sodium increases by less than 2 millimol liter in 24 hours. Drugs. Start with loop diuretics. Consider tolvaptin 7.5 mg per day, monitor for overcorrection. Urea 15 g per day. SGLT2 inhibitors, SGLT2I, 25 mg per day. Sodium intake of 1 to 2 g, meal, with potassium-rich food. Hypervolemia. If urine sodium greater than 30 mmol, L, then it's renal cause, or urine sodium less than 30 mmol, L, then it's non-renal cause, CHF, liver disease, fluid restriction, water intake only when thirsty. Treatment, furosemide 20 to 40 mg every 8 to 12 hours or terasemide 2.5 to 10 mg every 12 to 24 hours. Salt intake of 3 to 5 grams per day. If serum sodium increases less than 2 millimol liter per day, start tolvaptin 15 mg per day. Monitor serum sodium for 24 hours. Urea 15 to 60 grams per day. SGLT2I 10 to 25 milligrams per day. Various pharmacological options are summarized here. Isotonic saline, used in hypovolemic hyponatremia. 3% hypertonic saline, used for severe hyponatremia. Loop diuretics, effective in SIADH and hypervolemic states. Vaptins used in SIADH and hypervolemic hyponatremia. Urea, effective for chronic SIADH, reduces the risk of overcorrection. SGLT2 inhibitors, an emerging option, especially in SIADH. Monitoring and overcorrection prevention, risk, 
Overcorrection can lead to osmotic demyelination syndrome, or ODS. Prevention. Monitor serum sodium levels every 4 to 6 hours. If overcorrection occurs, use desmopressin or hypotonic fluids to slow the increase in sodium. Emerging therapies. SGLT2 inhibitors are showing promise in early trials for SIADH. Research needs. More randomized controlled trials, RCTs, are needed comparing tolvaptin, urea, and SGLT2 inhibitors in SIADH. Tailor the treatment approach to the underlying cause of hyponatremia. Carefully monitor serum sodium levels to avoid overcorrection. Emerging therapies offer new options but require further research.